Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I walked you through the Morgan calendar integration for Obsidian. If you missed that, no worries, I leave the link down in the description so you can catch up. A lot of you noticed my daily notes setup and had questions, specifically about the three callouts I use for managing my tasks. So I thought it would be great to dive deeper into that today. Before we jump in, a quick heads up. This vault setup, along with other resources, is available for download to all Insider members on my website, mindstoneconsulting.net. If you want to support my work and unlock exclusive content, check out the Insider membership via the link in the description. But now, let's get started. First, let's talk about the tools. I use four main plugins to create this task management setup. Callout Manager lets me customize callouts for different task categories. For example, I use an overdue callout for my overdue tasks, a daily callout for the to-do section, and a done callout to track completed tasks. Style Settings controls the look of the callouts. Personally, I go for the sleek style, but feel free to experiment with what works for you. And then Tasks and Templater. The Tasks plugin helps manage all task-related data, and Templater automates the process by applying templates to my daily notes. Now, let's get into the technical part, but don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. I've already prepared some tasks here, Let's start with a quick recap of how to build task queries in Obsidian. You simply create a code block using three backticks, followed by the word tasks. Inside the block, you can add filters to customize it according to your needs. I link to the official documentation in the description for more details. Here's how I set up my queries. For overdue tasks, I use due before today, not done to filter out completed tasks, Hide due date, since I don't need the due date displayed. Short, for clean icon-based view. For tasks due today, the only difference is changing the due date filter to due today. Lastly, for completed tasks, I use done today, hide due date, and short. Now that you're familiar with task queries, let's move on to setting up those nice multi-column layouts using a CSS snippet from the modular CSS layout repository. Here's how you can do it. Click on the latest release here and download the zip file. Unzip the folder and you'll find three CSS files inside but we only need the multi-column file. In Obsidian, go to Settings, Appearance, and scroll down to CSS Snippets. Click the folder icon, drag and drop the multi-column file, and then refresh and enable the snippet. Now, let's open the daily note template and to create the multi-column layout, Here's what you do. Start by creating the multi-column callout by writing greater than sign, space, and inside square brackets, exclamation point, and multi-column. Leave a blank line. And now for each column, add a nested callout. To create a nested callout, simply add a second greater than sign followed by the name of the callout. Let's start with the overdue task. I will use an overdue callout and label it overdue. I will write the same information as before, paying attention to the nested level. Use three backticks, specify tasks due before today that are not done, hide the due date and keep it short. Finish with three backticks. Leave a blank line at the first level then create another nested callout. This time use the daily callout and label it to do. Write three backticks followed by tasks that are due today but not completed. Hide the due date and keep it short. Conclude with the three backticks. Leave another blank line at the first level and create the last nested callout. 
This time I will use the Dawn Callout. Three back ticks, followed by tasks, done today, hide due date, and short. Finish with three back ticks. This creates a clean three column layout for your tasks. Let's test this out. Let me delete the daily note and create a new one by clicking on my calendar. And here you have it. But here's something you might not have realized yet. If you create a daily note for tomorrow or even yesterday, the tasks shown remain static. This happens because we are using natural language like today in our queries, which always references the current day. But we can fix this. Let's go back to our daily note template and instead of art coding today in the template, use the templater syntax tp dot file dot title. This tells Obsidian to pull the date from your notes title, dynamically updating the query based on the notes day. So let's delete these daily notes and create a new daily note. Everything works as before. Now if I create a note for tomorrow, the overdue tasks will display correctly and a new task will appear in the to-do section, representing a task I need to complete this day. The same logic applies when I check yesterday's notes. In fact, if you take a look to the callouts in each daily note, you'll see a different date corresponding the name of the daily note. And there you have it, you now have all the knowledge needed to create your visually appealing task queries within your daily notes. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my bi-weekly newsletter for more content about productivity, knowledge management and automation. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.